question on fractions and once again a very good question very tough question 1 by 1 into 4 plus 1 by 2 into 5 plus 1 by 3 into 6 plus 1 by 4 into 7 infinitely what does this add up to it's an infinite sequence those are tricky straight away 1 by 1 into 4 1 by 2 into 5 1 by 3 into 6 it goes on this thankfully the pattern is simple this is 1 by 1 into 4 2 into 5 or the nth term in the sequence nothing but 1 by n into n plus 3 if that were complicated then we are in jail so that part is simple but it's an infinite sequence 1 by n into n plus 3 as an infinite sequence we will do this by a wonderful method method called as breaking into partial fractions we'll take this general term 1 by n into n plus 3 and then break it into partial fractions how are we going to do this? We're going to say, let us assume this can be broken into partial fractions. What do we mean by that? We're going to say this can be written as a by n plus b by n plus 3. We're going to assume it can be written like that. And then we'll sit and solve for a and b. How do we do that? a by n plus b by n plus 3. Plus a into n plus 3 plus b into n by n into n plus 3. Which is a n plus b n plus 3a by n into n plus 3 which is again n times a plus b plus 3a by n into n plus 3 this is given to be 1 by n into n plus 3 if you notice there is no n term here this is the other way of writing this is 0 n plus 1 or if this has to match with this what does that tell us it tells us this a plus b should be 0 and 3a should be 1. a plus b should be 0, 3a equals 1 or a is 1 by 3, b is minus 1 by 3. Bingo, we done, we done, we practically done. So how do we write this? Let's see that in more detail there. The tn here is 1 by n into n plus 3. We can write this as 1 by 3n minus 1 by 3 times n plus 3. That's what we've got this as. Or if we take out 1 by 3, this is 1 by n minus 1 by n plus 3. All we need to do is plug in this expression here. So this becomes 1 by 3 times 1 by 1 minus 1 by 4. 1 by 2 minus 1 by 5. 1 by 3 minus 1 by 6. All the way infinitely. What does it give us? It's going to be a 1 by 1 minus 1 by 4. Three terms later, we're going to have a 1 by 4 minus 1 by 7. Three terms later, we're going to have a 1 by 7 minus 1 by 10. And so on. Likewise, 1 by 2 minus 1 by 5, we're going to have a 1 by 5 minus 1 by 8. This will get cancelled with this. This will get cancelled with this. It's an infinite sequence. The last term is practically 0. So what will we be left with? We'll have this 1 by 1. We'll have this 1 by 2. We'll have this 1 by 3. Everything else will disappear. Or we're effectively looking at 1 by 3 times 1 by 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3, whatever that turns out to be. The LCM here is 6. So this is 1 by 3 times 6 by 6 plus 3 by 6 plus 2 by 6 or 1 third of 11 by 6, which is 11 by 18. Wonderful question because we have to pick on the idea of partial fractions. Once you get partial fractions, once you crack partial fraction, simplify from there, expand the term, bunch of terms will get cancelled. We'll have only three terms remaining. Compute that, then you're done.